Welcome to the MVCC Library. This short tutorial is geared toward students in history classes who have to find primary sources for their assignments. A primary source is an immediate first-hand account of a topic or incident. There are many kinds of primary sources, such as modern-day video footage, diaries, autobiographies, manuscripts and museums, personal letters, government documents, etc. The NVCC Library has several databases that contain primary sources. There are two objectives to this short tutorial. One, how to find the NVCC's history databases. And two, I will highlight several history databases that specialize in primary sources. To access the NVCC library from off campus, log into my ComNet, then scroll over my library info and choose the NVCC library. The library's databases are grouped by major subject areas. The history databases are in the lower right hand corner. If you scroll over the database links, you will see a brief description of each resource. If you are in U.S. History 1 or 2, a good place to start looking for primary sources is the American History Database. You can browse primary sources by subdivisions. Or you can search by a person's name. Let's say you were looking for primary sources in regards to Abraham Lincoln. Type in his name, and once your search results appear, you can limit it to just primary sources. In terms of primary sources, the Gale Virtual Reference Library will pretty much cover most, if not all, of the history courses offered at Naugatuck Valley Community College. The Gale Virtual Reference Library is a wide-ranging collection of historical documents, including primary source materials covering topics including civil rights, the environment and conservation, immigration and immigration communities, LGBTQ history, the Middle Ages, the Middle East, women's rights, Native Americans, and issues of nationalism and populism. The Gale Virtual Reference Library allows you to link right down to the chapter and page of a document. So, faculty, if you want to link directly to a source in Blackboard or students for a presentation, you can do that. If you need further assistance, please contact the library. Thank you.